Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the four step problem that is another good string. And what is that problem? Problem is a string is called beautiful if all of its characters are the same. For example, A, B, 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 A, A, so they are beautiful. While A, B, try, they are not. Why? Because they have different characters, right? So we are given a string S of length n consisting of lowercase English letters and we are also given Q updates to be found on S. Each update consists of a single character that must be appended to S and we need to find the like the length will be increased obviously and we need to find the longest beautiful service string after each operation. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> So, so we need to return like output in the format q plus one space integers. So let's jump to the example. That's a simple question. So we have a n m n c c. Okay. So what is that maximum possible substring? Beautiful one. So this is of length one and this is of length three and this is of length two. Okay. So the maximum possible is three here as of now. Right. Now we can add. So like we can print this three. We got this. Now we need to add C both. So we have added C. Now this becomes three. So we need to update three. Now again C. Okay, so now it becomes four. Yes, so we have four now, right? Now we have D. So D is the different one, different character. So the length will be one. So maximum length is possible here. No, no, not D. It's not D right now. It's not D. It's the C again. So C again. That becomes 5. Now we have 5. And now we have D. D will be added, but it is not same. So the length will be, the maximum length will be the same. So again 5. This is a simple approach for this. So let's see this example. In this, the beautiful initially, it is only like 1. Because we don't have repeatable character, characters and uh, conjugative. So that's right. So in the last we have added R. So it does not matter. We have one only. Again R. So now, now it can be increased. Yes. So initially it is one. After adding R, it is one. After adding second R, it will be two. After adding third R, it will be three. So this is your answer. Hope you got it this. And how will you solve it? That's the main question, right? So the way you can try for this, <clears throat> you just need to iterate through the this. Okay, make a loop from i equal to one, and you can go till i less than n, right? And what you need to do is just a simple thing. If this S is the string, let it be. So S of I is equal to equal to S of I minus one, the previous character. If it is equal, and now let it be, you have a C variable that is a current variable, and again you have an answer variable. So both are one initially for sure. So what you need to do here, you need to update C. C plus plus. Okay. And after that, also you need to update your A. Right. And A will be maximum of A comma A comma C. And what if this is not the case? Then we will need to go else condition and we will do directly C equal to 1. And at the end of this loop, you just need to print this A. Okay, so I have print this A with the space 
and now you need to take this input right so you need to take the input from i equal to 0 to i less than n not n m basically this is m so now what you need to do you need to do the same thing same thing here just copy paste this thing here and what you need to do just need to update your answer else in the same condition c and print at every iteration you need to print answer you need to a print this right that's it so hope you understood this solution so let's see a code for better understanding and how can you implement it easily okay so it's working you can see here hmm. so what you need to do just simple thing you need to take the input then take the like declare the string and declare two variables current one answer one both are one initially take the input right and what you need to do just make a loop from i equal to one to i less than n and that will like you can increase your current variable and store in the answer update your answer by taking the maximum otherwise current will be one and you just need to print this then what you need to do you need to declare a uh, make a loop from i equal to n to i less than n plus m because the last m entry is basically i am doing that so you need to declare character c and what you need to do just take the input add in the string and check this condition if that is the case you need to do the same thing update your current and what what else can you do you need to update your answer and what you need to do just if that is not the case and you just need to do current equal to one and that's it and you need to print your answer so you will get it that's it hope you understood this solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding